What's going on, everyone? So, based on reports, the Houston Rockets are not offering max contracts to either Alpern Shangun or Jalen Green at the moment, per Shams. Now, this is incredibly interesting, because, I mean, even last season, there were reports that were coming out that the Rockets are kind of fielding calls for both Shangun as well as Green, and that they're interested in, and maybe even willing to trade either of these guys. And it's really strange to me because most teams, especially Shangun, would th- this would be their future. Right? Like talking about Shangun 22 years old, Jalen Green 22 years old. Two guys that have already shown real promise and to be a real impact guys in this league. I mean, Shane Goon is a guy that can literally do everything out there on the basketball court. Um, you know, Jalen Green, yeah, sure, he can get, you no, know, he can be a little sporadic at times, uh, he, he a little tunnel vision at times. I, th- there's questions about, you know, his his professionalism at times. There have been little rumors that have came out here and there and stuff. But for the most part, these two guys are incredibly young, incredibly gifted, incredibly talented. That if you just kind of nurture and grow and develop should be two franchise guys that can, you know, with the right pieces, potentially get you where you need to go. And it's just like, what, what other options are you going to get? Look, I understand, you know, the, the Houston Rockets, they want to win now. They want to put themselves in a position to where they're, they're you know, they're a, a real contender now, you know, and they went and got nice pieces, in my opinion, and, and veterans like, you know, Fred Van Vliet, as well as Jeff Green, I thought was a great, a special, great pickup. Um, just his veteran leadership and a guy that can kind of come in and and you know be a mentor and play some quality minutes. Uh, you know Dylan Brooks. I I do think that they overpaid for those guys. I don't really like the contracts for those guys. However, that's why they came right because they they got they were getting the bag with Houston compared to anywhere else. And my thing is like, who are you gonna get? Right, like if. Giannis becomes available, sure, right? Trade whatever you got to go get him and see if you can go win a championship or, you know, if, you know, I don't know, whomever, right? Like if all of a sudden Luca becomes available, sure, right? Like, but, like, what are you trading? Like, are you trading Green and, and Shangun for picks or roll guys or, you know, like, it, it just doesn't really seem to make sense to me. Now, look, it's very possible that Houston eventually gives them maxes, right? They see that, like, ah, oh, there's nothing really else out there. And and their maxes aren't going to be 50 plus million, right? Like, but, you know, these are two guys that, you, like, you look at Shane. Let's start here. Let's start with Shane. Again, 22 years old. He won't be 23 till July. He's incredibly young, incredibly gifted. Talk about a guy that last season... Average 21.1 points. By the way, he's gotten better every year. But 21.1 points. He averaged five assists, 9.3 rebounds, one and a half steals, and will be nice around up to a block. Right? He's not this, like, lockdown defensive center. He's not this great, like, rim protector or anything. But he is incredibly gifted. He's a guy that can do, again, pretty much anything out there on the basketball court. Um, Even shown the ability to stretch the floor on occasion. And is only going to continue to improve and get better. It's a guy that, you know, again, he's tw- he was 21 last year and already a 20, 10, and 5 guy. Now, how many guys like that are in the league, period, at the center position? And his ability to, to run an offense through him and, you know, make plays in the post and score around the rim and you know, knock down the little elbow and just his versatility on the offensive side is just, it, it's... There's like every team in the league would love to have a guy like him, except for Houston, apparently. Because again, Houston supposedly was looking, was at least fielding offers. Now, look, listening and actually doing are two very different things. Right? Like, you should always listen because you never know. Right? Like, there's really only like a handful of guys, if that, that are really untradeable. And, and it might even be smaller than that. You know, like, Wimby's probably the only guy that is in the NBA that's, like, untradeable, untradeable, or that pretty much every team would trade their star for. But, like, you know, guys like Luka, I don't see Dallas trading him. Like, Steph, you know, even with his age, 
the the Warriors would probably not trade him just because of what he did for the franchise. Like, there are outliers, there are circumstances. So, if you're an organization, I never mind a, a, a team at least listening. Because, you know, what if some team calls up and they're like, we'll give you a 12 first and, you know, whatever, yokage for Sangoon. Like, you're not, you're like, duh. Like, yeah, let's do that, right? Like, you never know what's going to happen. You know, you look at, like, the Mikel Bridges trade. Right, like greatly overpaid for that, or like Rudy Gobert trade, greatly overpaid for that. You know, if a team is willing to give you some insane offer for Sangoon, like, you no, know, maybe at that point you'd listen to it. But again, it's like you know, you get a bunch of picks or whatever. Like, who are like, what are you gonna get that makes sense to give up on a twenty-two-year-old center that's already given you twenty, ten, and five? Like, your hope in the draft is to get a guy like him. Like, like literally, like that's your plan. Now, unless, again, you, you really do want to go all in. So, like, let's say, again, let's say Giannis. Let's just use Giannis. Because Giannis even said, like, you know, hey, I might get traded if... It, which kind of sounded like he was requested to trade almost if they don't win a championship. But let's say, for argument's sake, let's just use Giannis as an example. If Giannis became available and you're Houston and you really want to kind of push your chips in, try to go win a championship immediately, then sure, Right? If that's that's the route you want to go and you want to try to win, because look, Shangun could develop into a 30, 12, and 7 guy, and you still might never win a championship. Right? So, you know, I'll never I'll never knock teams for trying, right? But I just I, I look at this team and it's like they, they just stay the course. You know, Houston has some nice talent. And then even like Jalen Green, I, I understand. The concerns with Green, you know, it is he is he the right piece? Like, is he somebody that you really want to build around? But like, again, like, who are your better options? Played all all eighty two games last year, and and played thirty two minutes a game. He gave you twenty points, five rebounds, four assists, steal. Uh, he shot uh, thirty three point two percent on seven attempts, so that definitely needs to improve. Uh, Shot 42.3% from the field in total. Uh, and then uh, just a hair under uh, 50% from two-point range. EFG of 49.8. 80% from the foul line, right? Like, solid numbers. Is there room for improvement? Sure, absolutely, right? You could get a lot more efficient, but he's still 22 years old. If he was, like, 30, then sure, I could understand you want to move off him. But at 22 years old... You know, he, he has so much upside and potential. He's a guy that's already given you 20 a game. What does he look like at 25, 26, 27? When he really starts to understand the game better. Once he really starts to get a feel. You know, obviously there's defensive concerns, stuff like that at times. And, you know, again, his focus and discipline. And, you know, there's there have been kind of murmurs for the well, last few years of just like, oh, his professionalism and stuff. But... It's why you brought in guys like Fred VanVleet. It's why you brought in guys like Jeff Green. You know, it's why you got Ime Adoku to, to really kind of get these guys focused, to get these guys, put these guys in line, build around the young talent. Like, Houston, you can make an argument, has, you know, some of the best young talent in the entire league. You know, there's arguments for a couple other teams, but, like, you look across the board. I mean, again, you have Jalen Green. You know, you have Shingoon. Um, you just got Reed Shepard. You you just got you know you have Jabari Smith Jr. Um, you uh, Men Thompson. I'm forgetting about him, right? You no know, Cam Whitmore. We'll see what he can do. He's kind of hot and cold, but he's also twenty. Right now, could you be looking at like okay, maybe Whitmore if he if he takes a step, then he can fill in for for Green, or you know maybe you're going with Reed Shepard and see what they do. Sure, right? Like if those guys emerge. If those guys actually like take some strides and ended up moving in the direction you want to go, right? Like, you know, if Tari Eason, well, I can stay healthy, but, you know, just using him as an example, like if he all of a sudden becomes a 20 point game guy, then yeah, like maybe at that point you look because it's like, ah, you know, we, ha- we, we, we have too many redundancies on this team. We have too many things on this team where it's like, ah, it's probably in our best interest to to start unloading some of these guys and and see if we can do something, then sure. But I just, again, like most, almost every team in the league, if they had these two guys, 
would be looking at it as like, we have our future, right? These guys with Jabari and Reed and like, just stay the course, stay patient and, and see what happens, see what develops, see what grows. You have tons of assets. You, you, you're in a great spot. You want to win a championship? You could probably win a championship in the next three to five years by just staying the course and just waiting and being patient. Now, again, just because they haven't done it yet doesn't mean that they won't. And again, just because they're fielding and listening to offers doesn't mean that they won't trade or that they will trade them or anything like that. I do want to make that clear, but I just, I don't know. It's just a little odd to me that they just, we keep getting these reports over and over again of like, you know, hey, you may be able to trade for them. Not only may, may you na- may be able to trade for them, but like the Rockets don't seem to really want to pay them. And it's just like, they, they, they're, they are so good and so young and so talented, you know? And look, if, if Houston is going to take real strides this year, it's going to be because of these two. You know, again, unless you know, one of these other guys, Whitmore or Eason or Jabari or somebody just like really takes some strides and it's them, Chances are it's Shangun going to 25 and 12 or something, right? Or, you know, Green jumping up to, you know, 23 or 25, something like that, right? Like, and and that's not, like, unrealistic for these two. Like, you can see that potentially being a thing. You could see that potentially being a possibility. I don't know. It's just, it's really odd to me how they've kind of uh, approached the their, their young core, but Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you agree with my points? Do you disagree with my points? Do you have concerns about these two? Do you think, like, ah, no, like they got to keep them. They're, they're being you know, a little silly with it. Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Helps me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.